Hey lawn care business owners, my name is Waylon. Today I want to make a video about lawn care hourly rate. You know how much you're charging? Is your hourly rate really what it needs to be? Today we're going to determine that. I've made this spreadsheet so that we can go in here and fill in all of our personal expenses, our business expenses, and maybe some extra expenses that you have that maybe are not accounted for. Um, so let's go into the spreadsheet. So the first part of the spreadsheet is going to be personal expenses. You're going to put your mortgage, your car payment, all that kind of stuff in here. Anything that you have as a monthly bill, you put it into this section. Anything that's yellow, you can edit. Anything that's white, don't touch it or it's going to mess up the formula. I have some stuff in here that's says business. We have another sheet that we're going to get to in a minute that has all the business expenses. I've got child care. A lot of people don't have that. So uh, I've got food budget. That's something a lot of people don't account for. I've got gas budget on here. But overall, my personal expenses come down to $6,000 a month. And then it gives us a separate total with $38 an hour. So now we have another uh, expense category for additional expenses. These are going to be birthdays, Christmas, tithing, savings, your clothing, all the stuff that you never account for. Let's start accounting for it. Why don't we pre-budget? When it comes time to do a date night with your wife, why don't we have that set aside already and not just take it out of the extra money you made this week and end up in the hole next week? Why don't we pre-assign a certain amount of money for each of these things? And so that's why all of these numbers are real round. I'm going to track this stuff this year, and next year I'll, I'll have a better idea of what it is. The thing is, is your spouse and your kids, they don't see the future yet. You, you think about it all the time, but they don't see it. You've got to take care of them now. You can't just put all your responsibilities off. Financial stuff that you need to provide for your family, let's go ahead and budget for that stuff. Single guys that are starting businesses and have no expenses and can put all of their money into the business, yeah, that's all good and dandy. They're going to climb a lot faster than you are, and they'll be set up by the time they have a family. Some of us were not that smart when we started a business. When I was in my early 20s, I was starting to have kids, but I wasn't thinking about being a provider. I thought that getting a job would provide. Us small business owners with family, let's start pre-budgeting all of our expenses and let's take care of our family from the start. Let's not wait until we make it to take care of our family. So this spreadsheet is the start of that for me. My total expenses go down to $8,000 a month, which is not a, not a little bit. It's quite an expense. Uh, I know a lot of people would suggest a salary of $1,000 a week. I could take off a lot of these expenses and say that I made $1,000 a week, but when it came down to it, I would end up taking that money from the business when we needed to buy a new truck or we needed to buy marketing materials. That money would not go into the business. It would go into my family, into all these expenses. Growing the business is important, but taking care of my family is priority number one. So all in all, my owner's salary should be $50 an hour. So now let's go to our next sheet. This is going to be all your business expenses. It has a lot of numbers on here, but don't get intimidated. I just totaled it up so that you can see all the numbers uh, and make decisions based off of this sheet. At the top, it gives you the total for everything below. And so what I have here is a total hourly expense of $119 per hour. My daily is about $1,000 a day in expense. $5,000 a week, basically. 20 a month, $150,000 a year in expenses. I've done this based off of an eight-month period because lawn care work is seasonal. It's hard to plan expenses and financials for the winter because it's so unstable. You don't know what you're going to make. So let's just stick with the eight months that we know are going to work, we know we're going to make a profit, and let's plan those months to be the best they possibly can. So we get into here. The first section is labor. Your owner's salary is the first category, and that will actually auto-formulate based off of the spreadsheet that we just did with the personal expenses. So don't touch that cell. It will automatically formulate that based off of the first sheet. I've got a laborer in here, and that's $20 an hour. This does include labor burden. Make sure that 
you include that in here. Uh, and we've also got a $5 an hour for profit sharing. That's just on a percentage. So at the end of the quarter, we total up the total profit for the business and we give them a percentage of the profit. So that's factored in here. And now we have office expenses. Uh, it's pretty straightforward on that. Your phone, uh, CRM. We have Jill's office to answer the phones. General liability. Whoops. If you do that, if you mess up the sheet, just click undo. And it will undo it. Don't freak out. We've got payroll, accounting. Put every expense you can think of in here. Office expenses. Now we got marketing. My business, uh, I do the website, so that's a zero. We do a lot of paper marketing, door hangers, signs, so it's not too expensive. It breaks down to a $2 an hour hourly cost for our marketing, which is probably going to increase in the future. Then I have a MISC category, and this is for storage unit. We put our uh, trucks in a storage unit. That's 200 bucks a month. We do a car wash. We only have one truck, so we pay a monthly fee of $40 to wash our truck right down the road. We have credit card fees. You need to make sure you're factoring this in because this could be a $6,000 annual expense that you're not factoring in, and that's going to eat away your profit if you don't account for it. Uniforms for two men, about 500 bucks a year. Supplies. So here we got drinks, two-cycle oil, string, trash bags, gloves, your spray, safety glasses. And make sure you've got everything that you put on your truck. If you have to go out to your truck and write down everything, make sure you're accounting for this stuff. There's so many things within this spreadsheet that guys just do not think about. It's an afterthought, and it eats away your profit. Don't let that happen. So my supplies come out to an $8 an hour expense used to I didn't even have that accounted for now another thing non billable time a lot of people are not thinking about non billable time at all let's start thinking about it we got door hangers we put those out in March when we're putting out door hangers a customer is not paying us to put out door hangers we're out on our own buck putting out door hangers spending our own time or paying our employees money from our pocket to put out door hangers that has to be accounted for Customer service, I don't have a figure for that yet because we're just going to measure it this year. But you're going to have to factor some time for going out to see customers, to see mess-ups, things like that. Uh, wash and maintenance, customers are not paying us to clean a truck. Uh, so that's off our own book. Estimates, here's another thing. You can charge an e-fee to counteract the estimate expense that you have because you're going to have to do a certain amount of estimates for per year but for now if you're not doing an estimate fee to account for that let's go ahead if you're doing free estimates you have to do this you need to total up the amount of estimates that you have per year and then I would recommend at least doing the labor for how much time it's going to take you per estimate for me I factored in about 30 minutes because I drive about 10 five or ten minutes go to the house and I usually spend at least 20 minutes with the customer talking going over measuring things so I'm just gonna average it at 30 minutes and then total that up for how if you're gonna have 150 at 30 minutes how much is that gonna cost figure out that number and put it in this box here now we got taxes straightforward it's just a 15 percent on your total income so figure that number and then put it in this box. At the top, we've got a $120 crew hour rate. Having a truck with two guys, all the equipment, driving down the road, mowing yards, cost me $120 an hour. Like I said, that factors in my personal expenses because I'm the one backing this thing. If you get this spreadsheet, you can fill all this out and figure out exactly how much you need to charge. So now let's go to the income section, the next tab. It starts out with your total expenses. This just takes the figures from that last sheet we were looking at, which is one nineteen an hour, and then it splits it in half because you're working in the field and your helper's working in the field. Your man hour rate is sixty bucks. So over here it gives you some suggestions. Our break even would be sixty dollars. So that means our total expense uh, per employee would be sixty dollars. 
and we would make zero profit on that employee. If we bring our rate up to $70 an hour, that means we'll make $10 an hour profit after we pay all of our expenses because we have factored in every expense. We could also go to $80 an hour and make $20 an hour profit. For me, I'm just going to start out with $70 this year. So now this income section is just going to total up all of this and give you your total revenue. So all you have to do is fill out this yellow box with whatever hourly rate you would like to use. And it has to be over this green box. You can't have a hourly rate that's less than this. You have to at least break even. So our crew hour, having two guys at $70 a man hour, is $140 an hour. Then it gives us the totals annually. We make about $180,000. And like I said, this is for an eight-month period. So now, if you're not familiar, Profit First is a great way to run the finances of your business, wherein you determine the profit that you would like to make, your owner's salary, and then you take out taxes, and then whatever's left for expenses, you run the business on. We're going at it a little backwards because we already know our expenses from the sheets that we, we just filled out. We know that every expense that we have is a non-negotiable. These are expenses we have to run our business on. Now, maybe you could go back in there and make some cuts. If that's possible, then you should do that. Any cuts you can. You need to run as lean as possible. At the same time, you need to live a comfortable life. You need to have everything taken care of as a husband and a father. These yellow boxes you can fill out, and these are just percentage. What percent of total revenue needs to go towards profit? I would recommend starting with your expenses. So what it does is it takes your actual expenses from the sheet that we just filled out, and it puts them into these categories. So $49 an hour. 329 a day, but this is hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So you would you can adjust with these percentages. Now it gets a little bit more complicated if you go into this step because you have to account for owner's pay, which we already have accounted for. Uh, and this shows a little bit off on these numbers. So we'll just not even cover this right now. Maybe I'll come back and, and do this because this needs a little bit of editing on this particular sheet. If anybody's interested in it, then I'll make a whole other video. What I wanted to accomplish with the video was to have guys who have a family, who have a ton of expenses, and who are losing money, let's sit down and figure out what expenses we actually have, what can be cut, what can't. Let's put all those in, and let's figure out what our man hour rate actually needs to be. And that's what this spreadsheet is going to do for you. So this winter, I was doing a lot of planning and thinking about the future for the rest of the year and what goals I want to accomplish, where I want to go with the business. And what it all came down to is what does my hourly rate need to be? I need to have that set in stone before I get working. I need to know without a shadow of a doubt that when I'm out there in the field working this year that I'm making a profit. Because in the past... It seems like the money was always going. The, there was a hole in the bucket and the money was flowing out just as fast as I could put it in. Uh, I'm trying to solve that this year. A lot of that has to do with cash flow because we do some commercial stuff that's a lot of expense up front. And so we spend a lot of money and then it, it comes back later. So that being said, I made this spreadsheet for myself, and I wanted to put it out there for any other guys that were like me. Uh, it's kind of frustrating when you're watching content. Like, I love Mike Andes, but Mike Andes is a single guy. He's been putting out content, and uh, he's I, I've got his biz. I've got the landscape business course, and I go through that, and he recommends not to take a salary to have a part-time job when you start out. For some of us, that's just not possible. I would tell my sons to do the same thing if they were single and starting out. I think he's 100% right. But for me personally, starting later in life when I'm 30 and I've got four kids and a wife, you can't just have a part-time job and make ends meet. You have to start with all these expenses. You've got to do it. You can't just go homeless or go live with your mom-in-law or, uh, or anything like that. So that being said, this is what I've got. These expenses are non-negotiable and we're going to build the business around me getting paid what I need to get paid to run the business. So if you would like to determine your hourly rate with this spreadsheet, uh, just check the description 
and I'll have a link there for you to download the sheet and do it for yourself. If you have any questions uh, or any improvements you think that I can make to this uh, spreadsheet, please let me know because I'm always editing this. I've actually had this particular sheet since I started the business like almost 10 years ago now. I've been editing it over and over, and this is kind of the latest version of it, so it's My always goal is to become a CEO and to be focusing on numbers and focusing on growth and expansion and efficiencies. These are the things that I love to talk about, and that's what my channel is going to be about, uh, other than dead chickens like the last video. But that being said, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more content, and we'll see you later. Peace.